Do not fear the dark matter hurricane. The dark matter hurricane is good. It's going to swallow up Earth and take away all of Florida with it. <laughs> hey, just kidding. Love Florida, FYI. So, anyways, this is some this is some weird news from space. All right. Apparently, the scientists well, they think that there's quote a dark matter hurricane that's heading towards Earth. In fact, it might even be it might even be blowing through us already as we speak. What is dark matter, Jonesy? Dark matter is uh, something that scientists have theorized exists, but you can't see it with the naked eye. They've done a lot of math and they're like, how does, how does this, how is this universe held together? And uh, after doing all their equations, they said, well, there has to be something going on, uh, something that has mass, a mass that we can't see that holds all this universe together. And they don't know what it is, what it looks like, where it's located, but so they call it dark matter. I don't know, just, that's just the cliff notes on dark matter. How do you know that, Jonesy? I'm a nerd sometimes. Don't worry, though, this dark matter is not going to kill you. Mostly it's just a bunch of normal dark matter. I'm sorry, don't worry, this hurricane isn't going to kill you. It's mostly just normal dark matter with especially good branding, and it really is headed more or less this way. This seems strange to me because I just assume dark matter is all around us anyways. Apparently there's a dark matter hurricane that's formed. I don't know. Here's what's going on. Back in 2017, astronomers spotted a stretched out line of stars passing through our solar system's general region of the Milky Way. The scientists named this group of stars the S1 stream, identifying it as the nearest of several stellar streams moving throughout the galaxy. Parades of stars like these form when the Milky Way gobbles up a dwarf galaxy, stretching the smaller object out in the process. Well, in a new paper just published in the beginning of November in the Journal of Physical Review, Researchers argue that S1 might be carrying with it a hefty load of dark matter from the original dwarf galaxy, and they gave that baggage the snazzy name Dark Matter Hurricane. Coming to a theater near you. <laughs> you think the you think a regular hurricane in Florida is gonna get you? Wait till you experience the dark hurricane coming from the center of the Milky Way. Again, the hurricane is not going to kill you or blow the doors off your house, but it just may cause some local spikes in dark matter which would help researchers that are hunting dark matter actually find the stuff. Because they, they haven't found it, really. This is what's, that's what's so funny about dark matter. It just exists theoretically, but they've never been able to actually find it. Um, I did watch a show on Netflix about a, a scientist uh, who thought he could uh, actually show dark matter, and he was trying to do that using lasers or something. I don't know. Uh, Okay, so that's because the dark matter, you won't see this stuff. Okay, uh, because all, uh, the article says all galaxies, especially dwarf galaxies, are held together by dark matter, physicists believe. So the galaxy that was torn to shreds likely dumped a bunch of dark matter into the stream's path. The problem is no existing dark matter detection devices have actually worked, in part because they've all been designed based on educated guesses as to what dark matter really is. Scientists have a very good reason to believe dark matter exists, but are still guessing about its composition exactly. So the scientists behind the recent paper calculated how dense S1's dark matter would have to be to influence signals at several soon-to-be-built dark matter detectors. When those detectors come online, scientists will know a lot more about the hurricane and whether it's really blowing through our stellar neighborhood. Until then, it's fun to think about, isn't it? A dense cloud of matter from a dead galaxy blasting invisibly through... through all of us as it, as it follows the remaining stars on its doomed parade. <laughs> the dark matter. You know you want to have a dark matter smoothie for breakfast, but you can't see it. That's the problem. You can't see the dark matter. How are you going to make a dark matter smoothie if you can't see the stuff? <laughs> it's simply theoretical. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. I'm giving you a, uh, a performance and at the same time educating you on uh, the mysteries of the galaxy. I think about these things. I really do. Uh... I would love to have a conversation with a with a, a an astro an astronomist about this. Maybe I'll go to. You know, we have the uh, Griffith Observatory here in Los Angeles, and they, you can go over there and uh, talk to scientists. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do an interview. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about the dark matter specifically. The dark matter hurricane. <laughs> how how soon before the scientist gets up and walks out of that interview?